the shelf. Uh, thank you for talking to me. I'm uh, Rachel with That Shelf. Um, mm -hmm. I wanted to say, first of all, congratulations on this movie. Have, <laughs> have you guys seen the finished version yet? No. 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 And I really want to. <laughs> Um, I like, like obviously during ADR, like I saw little clips and I was <laughs> laughing so hard, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious to sort of see everything together. So, yeah. Are you guys going to go to the Toronto After Dark premiere on Sunday? Are you attending or Saturday? Sorry. Uh, no, it's on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday? Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so no, sorry. It's Sunday. <laughs> uh, are you guys going to be there on Sunday? Uh, I am, yes. She will. I'm out of town, unfortunately. I'm so bummed. I really wanted to see everybody, but I won't be there. Um, so there I mean, you it's a, Yeah, so Tara will have to, you know, report report back. Like, Toronto yeah. After Dark is such a, it's a big deal for the horror, horror fans. You know, the Toronto audiences are always so much fun. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I mean, how excited are you for an audience to see this movie, Tara? Well, I'm like, I'm a 10 because I feel this is this this is the kind of movie that was made to be seen in a theater and made for an audience and made for um, being in a in a crowd. Really, it's it's it, it feels like that type of a movie that you want to watch with a group of people and be like, oh, <laughs> True. and like, oh, my gosh, that did not just happen. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm I am very excited. <laughs> And Joelle, well, what about you? Like, you're not going to be there, but are you like, how excited? Are you nervous for the reaction? What are, what are you, you know, what are you feeling right now? Oh, so excited. I think there's always like an element of nerves that, that come with it when people are going to be watching something that you're passionate about and worked so hard with and the whole team worked so hard on it, but, oh no, I'm excited. Like Tara said, it's, it's just supposed to be enjoyed. It's, it's just going to be a really fun movie to watch. We had a lot, a lot of fun making it. So I know audiences are going to see that and, uh, and just have fun watching it. So I'm excited. I can't wait to actually watch it. So I'm expecting a call from Tara afterward at midnight. I'm just gonna, I'll just get you on FaceTime and Perfect. I'll just record the whole movie. Yes. Don't tell James or Daniel. <laughs> yeah. It'll be great. You're going to love it. You'll be at your Perfect. like event and like watching it on a tiny screen. It's going to be great. Exactly. exactly. Um, I love that there's so much, you know, there's so much going on in this movie it really is sort of a genre mashup of you know it's horror it's comedy you've got you know all of these different elements in it Joelle for you what was your reaction when you first read this script I was it was really ex I was really excited um when I read the full script and hold them the whole thing was stunts and blood. And that's kind of a world I hadn't dabbled in yet. So I was really excited for that part of it. And uh, when I had my meet and greet with Daniel, we were very much um, on board and we were on the same page of all of the gore and all of the blood and doing all, all of my own stunts. And uh, it was a lot of fun. That was what I was most excited about, I think. And Tara, for you, like there, again, there's so many twists. The story goes in a lot of unexpected uh, places <laughs> without giving too much away what was it about the story that maybe really surprised you when you read it um just the unexpected kept kind of I was like oh they went oh they went there oh oh what no is that <laughs> so that's my version of not giving it away but that was my reaction <laughs> as I was reading the script I was like, wait a second, wait, that's up there? No, that can't be up there. That's not, what? And then I'll, how are they going to do that? <laughs> but I love that it just goes there. And, and you know, I keep saying that this was just exactly what I felt like I needed at this time in my life and this headspace was just to have fun, not take yourself too seriously and just do something that is just pure joy and pure fun um, and, 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 give people a little like break from, from life. And, and just everything felt so serious at that time. Um, it was just nice to get out of that zone and have a really great time. Yeah. And I think that that really comes across because it looks like you guys are having a blast. If you're having as much fun as the audience is going to have watching this movie. Um, but I got to ask Joelle, how hard is it to get the blood off at the end of the day? <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. We've actually, we just talked about this too. I was, I was thrilled that there was going to be so much blood. And I did tell Daniel just to cover me in blood and he didn't disappoint because I would go home every day. And it was like a ring just around like my hairline was all blood. And it was definitely hard to get out. I was washing blood out of my hair. I think like a week and a half after we wrapped, but it was so worth it because it, I mean, I asked for it. I did. I said, cover me in blood and he listened. So (laughs) I guess I can't be too mad. And Tara, you really get, you get a lot of the sort of more, I guess, com- comedic elements, especially in your scenes with, with Michael. Um, <laughs> what, what was that dynamic like for the two of you on set? I feel like him and I just immediately like clicked and we were on this page and we knew exactly, like I could see where he was going with his character. And I was like, okay, I know exactly how I'm going to balance that and how I'm going to match it here. And it, it just felt instantaneous. I loved, I loved these two characters. They were <laughs> they were so funny and just not what you expected and kind of just add that sort of, um, I don't want to say lightness, but just that ridiculousness um, to, to the movie. And uh, I really, I just love that. I played a straight character for a long time. So it was kind of nice to be the one that's, you know, a bit over the top and ridiculous and, and to go there. So it was fun. And, you know, Sean is great in this. Just even the physically looking at him as the concept of this wrestler slash babysitter. What was it like for both of you working with him? It was great. It was great. Sean, Shawnee Robs. Love Shawnee Robs. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, no, he showed up and I was like, you could crush me with one hand. <laughs> he definitely uh, did well to get into the the wrestler's um, body body frame, I guess you could say. Uh, but he's lovely. He he was really wonderful to have on set, had my back for a lot of things. And we, it was great to run lines with in between scenes and just was really supportive. And it was um, easy. We had a an, an easy connection and it uh, made set set a lot of fun to learn from someone who's been in the horror genre uh, for so long. So um, it was, it was cool to learn from him for that. Yeah, and he's and- such a sweet, he's such a sweet guy. Like he almost doesn't match his, no, his look. No, he doesn't. <laughs> like you see him and you're like, Oh my goodness. And then he's like, hi, how's it going? Yeah. Um, but what was so great too, is that he's so experienced with stunts that uh, you could sort of, I mean, obviously we had a, like a, a, a stunt, a stunt person there, a stunt, stunt, coordinator. stunt coordinator. Thank you. I was like, what's that word? <laughs> um, but he's so experienced as well. He was like, like, I could just see him kind of just putting it all together and making it work. And it was really awesome. Like he, to have someone did, so experienced with that. Yeah. And he did all of his own wrestling too. Like all of that was, was him. I'm pretty sure. Right. Yeah. I, I think, think they, had, they, they met earlier and like figured, like figured it all out and everything. Yeah. Like he just yeah. really goes there he was awesome uh like speaking of going there you know the the gore the special effects are so good and I know again you haven't really seen the final version but uh it, it's just fantastic now are either one of you squeamish at all like does the blood and gore bother you in horror movies only real life blood and gore bothers me like yeah I, I mean it'll be different watching this because I'm like oh I know but in yeah, if it's something that I'm watching on TV, I'm a bit like, oh, oh. <laughs> you know what? I think what was was almost more gross than just the blood was um, the special effects. The butcher shop they had like certain pieces of fake flesh and fake skin, yeah. and that part that made me a little squeamish. I even knew I'm like, of course this is fake. And they had, I think I think they had banana for like brains or something at one point. And I was like, Ooh, I don't like that. That, that makes me a little squeamish, but we know. That ruins bananas for me. (laughs) That ruins, sorry. (laughs) Uh, Now, when you're making a horror movie, obviously you're going to have a lot of horror fans on set. Who among the cast and the, was the biggest horror movie fan? Ooh. Daniel or James, I think. Yeah, for sure. I think, but in terms of cast, maybe. Are you guys Definitely not one me. of you big horror fans? No, I'm terrified. I am the worst. I am like, I will watch, like I like, I'll do thrillers and stuff like that, but I really have to like know what day I'm going to watch it on, make sure I'm like ready and calm myself. I get really anxious. I I just, I get really anxious. I just, it scares the crap out of me. Yeah. Fair. You got to mentally prepare for those. Yeah. I think I like the psychological thrillers a lot. Like, 
I mean, I guess technically like get out, that's a mm-hmm. horror, I guess. And that I love that type of thing, but some some horror movies I'm hiding behind a blanket like Tara. With Tara, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep eating popcorn. Just look down. I'm like my like, like a child. <laughs> this isn't happening. Yeah. And now with this one for both of you, you know, you've now crossed, you know, a, a fun horror comedy, bloody role, you know, check off the list. Um is there a role or a person that you would just love to work with? You would love to play, like, you know, put it out there, let's manifest it. Tara, what would you- what Like would in you the horror do? genre? In anything, in your career, oh going yeah. forward. Is there like, what's the dream role or the dream person? I mean, Naomi Watts has had a pretty great career. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to tell you. I, yeah, it's, it's one of those, it's, it's hard, like, um yeah I don't know I'd have to think <laughs> good to, yeah Naomi Watts is a good one yeah, good. yeah. I feel like what about you Joelle yeah who would you who I'm, would you pick or what type of role would you is your dream role uh so recently I have been obsessed with Florence Pugh and everything she does I think she is incredible and and I love watching her she's so she's somebody who I think would be very cool to work with and type of role um I think I think kind of coming into the whole action thing would be really cool to continue with that something a little bit more outside of my wheelhouse um, or drama. I love doing drama. I love doing some of that grounded um, work that's telling really compelling stories and um, anything that kind of does that with Florence Pugh. <laughs> oh my God, I also you can tell like our age difference. <laughs> You're like, who is this? You know her. Pugh. I'm like, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, she's the girl in the. <laughs> okay, so like, this like... is what we do. You just you put it out in the universe then yeah. yeah you know maybe five ten years from now you look back on this and you're like yes I did it yeah. I did it and now then you'll be working with Florence too um so finally um you know this movie is I I think it's going to play really really well with the audience it's going to be so much fun uh beyond Toronto after dark what are you hoping you know viewers who are watching this at home are good what, what do you hope that their reaction will be when they watch here for blood I just hope people have like, just get distracted from their lives for a little bit, have fun. Don't take things so seriously. It's, you know, it just, it's about joy, laughter and escaping your life for a little bit. Um, and, and that's really what movies are about and television is about. It's just, it's kind of escaping reality for a brief moment. Right. Yeah, I completely agree. It is really just a fun movie to watch. I mean, there's so many different characters too that audiences might in, on a weird level find themselves relating to. Hopefully not in the in the scary Hopefully part. Hopefully not mine. <laughs> Hopefully not everybody. <laughs> um, but but yeah, I think that there is some characters there that you can really actually relate to a lot from and and see how, you know, they're not taking life too seriously and they're having fun too. So that's a good takeaway. Well, congratulations on the film. I had a lot of fun watching it. Um, and I think, yeah, I think it's going to be, it's going to be a fun one to end uh, Toronto yeah. After Dark on. So thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you so much, Rachel. Nice chatting with you. Bye. All right. Take care. Take care.